Do you know this woman? If so, police want to hear from you. Her name is Mary Beth Hodgkinson, and police now believe she was the victim of a murder nearly two decades ago. Her remains were found behind a diner in Ben Salem back in the mid-1990s, but until last month, police had no idea what her name was. Today, they know who the victim is, but the killer, that is still a mystery. NBC 10's Deanna Durante shows us what police are doing to try to find new clues in this cold case. We know what she looks like now, and we know her name. Mary Beth Hodgkinson. All new information in a very old mystery. Back in September of 1995, a long time ago, Ben Salem police were called to the rear of the, what is the clubhouse diner on Street Road for a possible discovery of some bones. Uh, at that time, some kids found bones and they thought it was a, a turtle. Those kids found the remains of a woman, a woman who would go nameless until today. When we exhumed her body, there was a grave marker that said unknown Jane Doe. Now, when she's returned to her family, they can give her a proper burial and they can put Mary Beth Hodgkinson. But the case doesn't end there. It's now the beginning for police who have learned Mary Beth graduated from William Tennant High School, was 31 when she died, and may have a child out there somewhere. What she also has? A killer that's unknown to police. If somebody knows her. This is not a person that wasn't known to people. We need to find out, since we know the cause of death is homicide, we need to be able to hold somebody accountable. What police need from you? Information. Did you know Mary Beth? Know where she hung out and who she spent her time with? Found near her a few items that could jog your memory. We also found two crucifixes on her and also a shirt, Alcatraz Penitentiary Swim Team. Police say Mary Beth was known to be an exotic dancer and she often stayed at the old Trevo's George Washington Motor Lodge. And police hope that by you hearing all of these clues, you can help them find out what happened to Mary Beth once and for all. She went to William Tennant High School. I know on Facebook there's William Tennant High School class of 79 groups. I know that, you know, when somebody disappears, there's got to be somebody saying whatever happened to so and so, whatever happened to Mary Beth. And if you're that person, call Ben Salem Police. Deanna Durante. NBC 10 News.